Today I'm going to be running a test of Snort and Suricata's ability to process the VRT rule set, which is now known as Talos, and the ET rule set concurrently. Snort and Suricata are at the forefront of Open Source Intrusion Detection System, or IDS, technology. According to Open Source Intelligence, Suricata is optimized for the ET rule set, but is unable to process all of the Talos rules. Conversely, Snort is able to process both Talos and ET rules. This gives Snort the obvious advantage if you plan on using both rule sets. However, there are several conflicting sources which state that Suricata is also able to process both rule sets. This is why hands-on testing is incredibly important, taking various sources at face value and drawing your own conclusions. During the course of this test, I will be utilizing Armitage within Kali Linux to launch a Hail Mary attack against a Ubuntu server. This is an incredibly noisy attack, leveraging every currently available Metasploit exploit module against that specific operating system. I will be launching two Hail Mary attacks. One of the attacks will be used against a Ubuntu server while being monitored by Snort, and the other attack will be performed against a Ubuntu server while being monitored by Suricata. In both cases, the Talos and ET rule sets will both be utilized. The only variable in this test is the IDS engine, being Suricata or Snort. Afterwards, we'll compare the differences side by side to analyze the results. To test the Snort and Suricata engines, I will be using Security Onion, configuring the IDS engine as Snort for one test and Suricata for the other test. The first test will be conducted using the Snort engine with the free versions of Talos and ET rule sets. To show you that I'm currently configured to use the Snort engine and have Talos and ET rule sets implemented, I'll run sudo sostat. As you can see by the pulled pork output, both the Talos rule set and ET rule set were downloaded successfully. Scrolling down a bit, you can see that the enabled rules are 3,576. As you can see here, the IDS engine shows as snort in parentheses. Now I'm going to execute a Hail Mary attack against a Ubuntu server that is within the network of my snort IDS and is actively being monitored. The minimum exploit rank used in this test will be poor to ensure that the maximum amount of exploits are used against this Ubuntu server. At this point, the Hail Mary attack is finished, and the Ubuntu server has been successfully compromised. 
Let's take a look at the alerts which have populated using the Snort engine. As you can see, a substantial amount of Talos and ET rules have been triggered as a result of the attack. I will record this data and repeat these steps using Suricata as the IDS engine instead of Snort with the same rule sets implemented. I'll run a quick MySQL query, ordering the alerts by signature. Starting from the top, these alerts are from the Talos rule set. The signatures labeled ET are obviously from the ET rule set. This shows that the majority of the alerts which were fired were from the ET rule set, indicating that this rule set is rather noisy compared to the Talos rule set. However, they are both functioning to detect the previous attack. I'll run sudo sostat again to show the total amount of alerts which fired. As you can see, the total amount is 1,834. Now I will repeat the same steps, this time using the Suricata engine. To show you that I'm now using the Suricata engine and Talos and ET rule sets, I will run sudo so stat again. As you can see, both rule sets were successfully implemented. The number of automatically enabled rules are less in this case. This is because Suricata disables shared object rules due to its inability to process them. As you can see, the IDS engine is Suricata. After restarting Armitage, I will execute another Hail Mary attack against the Ubuntu system using the same options. At first glance, it looks like substantially less alerts were fired using Suricata. Some of the Talos rules fired, but not all of them. Let's take a look at the total amount of alerts fired using sudo sostat. As you can see, the total amount of alerts fired is 1,006, compared to the previous number of 1,834. More extensive and granular tests are required to ascertain the extent to which Suricata and Snort can process the existing Talos rule set, but this small test shows that it is probably favorable to use Snort if the Talos rule set will be utilized. Thank you for watching my video. Please thumbs up and subscribe.